What's up guys, Sagi here and welcome to another Tech Gear Talk. Today we're going to check out an entry level set of headphones from Bang & Olufsen, the Beaplay H4. Well, now when I say entry level, that's a relative term coming from Bang & Olufsen because these wireless over the ear headphones sell for around 300 bucks. So let's see if they're worth it. My goal with every product review is to give you a detailed overview of the features of the product, but in a way that relates to real life use. And if you find it helpful, please let me know by giving it a like and then hitting the subscribe and notification buttons for more headphones and tech reviews. I'll put a link in the description to where you can pick these headphones up and then help support my channel for free. That also helps me create more content for you and I thank you in advance. So let's get going. First, I'm a sucker for nice packaging, and I really like the look and feel of this box. Inside, you'll find the headphones themselves, a micro USB charging cable, and a 3.5 millimeter audio cable in case you choose to use the H4s in a wired mode. Now, unfortunately, what you won't find is a carrying case, which is a bit of an oversight for wireless headphones. I like to take my headphones with me, and I would have liked to at least see a cloth tote bag if you're not giving me a case. From a design standpoint, the H4s are aesthetically very similar to the rest of the Beaplay lineup, with a focus on simplicity and comfort. Each ear cup features a circular, anodized aluminum plate with a clean B&O logo, and the rest of the ear cup is made of plastic. The padding around each ear cup is a beautiful lambskin leather, which feels great against your ears. An interesting design choice is the exposed braided shoelace style wires, which contribute to the retro look of the H4s. On the interior of each ear cup, you'll see a large L or R to easily help identify the left and right channels. At the bottom of the right ear cup, you'll see a micro USB port used for charging and a 3.5 millimeter connection for wired passive listening. The right ear cup features a three button control center with a microphone that can be used for making phone calls. The two outer buttons are volume up and down controls, which interact with your mobile device's master volume levels. Now the center button is used for call management, track control, pairing, and turning the headphones on and off. Now the sound quality on the mic was pretty standard for these types of pinhole mics. Nothing outrageous, but good enough for making phone calls. Now connecting the ear cups to the top band are pieces of metal with a brushed finish. Now these give the H4 structure and at the same time allow for flex. Now moving on to the top of the headband, you'll see that it's also lined with really nice leather and the underside has a nicely padded gray cloth surface. All right, so let's move on to comfort. The H4s don't only look nice, they also feel nice. The lambskin ear cups are very soft and there's plenty of padding for long-term comfort. The headband has less padding than the ear cups, but the H4s are fairly light at only 8.3 ounces or 235 grams, so I didn't feel a lot of pressure on the top of my head. The ear cups rotate, so the set fits comfortably around your neck when you take them off. Now these headphones do not fold up in any way, and as I mentioned, they don't come with a carrying case, which is disappointing for the price. So just make sure that you're careful when you're transporting them. As far as sound profile, the H4s have a somewhat bassy character, but at the same time, the low end response is tight rather than just thumping. They definitely performed well on tracks where bass was supposed to be the focus. The vocals remained crisp and the overall sound balanced and bright. Moving on to less bass heavy tracks, I found that the H4s also performed really well. The sound was natural, and even with the bassy character of this set, the vocals were accurate with a bright and clear presence in the lows and the mids. I also tested the H4s with a few orchestral tracks where, again, I could notice the presence of added bass but without it being overpowering. The highs and the mids had great definition and the overall sound was well balanced. If you prefer a different sound profile, the Beaplay app for Android and iOS will let you customize your listening experience. The touchstone section lets you manually control the audio profile by tapping or dragging anywhere on the four quadrant array consisting of warm, excited, relaxed, and bright. You can also combine these profiles by enlarging the dot and relocating it. I really like this flexibility because each person might have a slightly different sound profile preference. 
And you might also wanna choose different settings based on the material you're listening to. Now, if you're not sure what to use, Bang & Olufsen included four presets, Commute, Clear, Workout, and Podcast. These will automatically place the dot in a specific spot on the sound array and adjust the highs, mids, and lows accordingly. Moving on to performance, the H4s feature 40mm electrodynamic drivers. Bang & Olufsen estimates 19 hours of battery life with medium volume levels, which is pretty good. The built-in 600 mAh battery fully charges in about two and a half hours. I really like the fact that you can still use these headphones while they're charging. The H4s can also be used in passive mode using the included cable, at which point no battery power is needed. The three button control center takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it does offer pretty complete functionality. You hold the top and bottom buttons at the same time for five seconds to initiate Bluetooth pairing and you should see BioPlay H4 show up on your device. Pretty standard functionality with the top and bottom buttons also control the volume and the center button turning the device on and off. If you're playing music, you can tap the center button to pause or play, double tap the center button to play the next song or triple tap it to play the previous song. A long press of the center button can be used to activate voice control. Siri, what's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies, and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. A short press of the center button can be used to answer an incoming call, and a long press will reject an incoming call. Now, if you're already on a call, a long press will end it for you. Now, going back to the headphone cable, there are no inline controls on the cable, which would have been nice at this price. For wireless connectivity, the H4s use Bluetooth 4.2, which should give you about 33 feet of operating range, pretty standard. And finally, the H4s do not have any type of active noise cancellation, but because of their design, they do tend to isolate quite well. I think that if you're spending 300 bucks on headphones and are looking for a high-end experience, the Bang & Olufsen BioPlay H4s could be a good choice for you. These are definitely some of my favorite headphones of 2018. The sound is very good for the price point and I love the flexibility of being able to modify the sound profile. The design is simple and elegant and they're extremely comfortable even for full day use. There is no active noise cancellation and the set does not come with a carrying case or a tote bag so I end up just wearing them around my neck when they're not in use. The H4s sell for around 300 bucks and I'll put some links in the description to where you can buy these and at the same time help support my channel for free and allow me to create more content for you. I really hope I was able to give you a good overview of the H4s. If I did, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, tweet it, share it, and then if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. You can always find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. And you know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.